Amsterdam is famously the city of bicycles. There are more bicycles than people in the city of Amsterdam. So why do I choose to own a car if I live in the city of Amsterdam? Let's discuss. Now I'm not trying to discourage bicycle use. I personally use a bicycle myself and a car is definitely not a replacement for a bicycle in the city of Amsterdam with these narrow streets. Bicycle is the best way to get around Amsterdam. I'm just gonna explain my reasons for owning a car in Amsterdam. Now I'm not trying to make this political. I'm not gonna be talking about the environment or pollution or traffic that cars cause. I'm just gonna go over my personal reasons why I choose to own a car even though I live in Amsterdam. So if you're not into that, you can go ahead and watch another video because you're not gonna care for this. So when I was planning my move to Amsterdam two years ago, one of the first things I was looking at was what type of car am I gonna get when I move there? Now the naive Floridian in me, I'd never lived in a city before, so I didn't know that you don't really need a car if you live in a city, and we were definitely planning to live in Amsterdam. But I'd never lived in a city before, so I didn't really know what to expect. In Florida, you drive everywhere, so I assumed, of course, I'm gonna need a car. I know I'll get around by bike, but I figured I would definitely need a car. So I did a lot of research before moving here, and soon after I moved here, we lived in the city, we have a commute that's in the city, we don't have to use a car for work, I realized I didn't need a car. I didn't need a car to commute to work. I can commute by bike or use public transportation. Where I lived in the pipe, parking was expensive and there was a wait time for a parking permit. So I didn't need a car. Definitely didn't need a car. A car was more of an inconvenience. So I definitely didn't need a car, but I felt like something was missing. I loved cycling. Cycling was the best way to get around in Amsterdam, but I missed driving. I missed just driving for pleasure. So I missed driving and what I started to do was rent cars from places like Sixth. Renting a car was nice because I used to get a brand new car or a very new car, different model almost every time. I would often rent luxury brands, so it'd almost always be an Audi, BMW, Mercedes, Volvo, and it was super nice to drive different new cars all the time. However, when I would rent, it started adding up for parking because like I said, where I lived, I had to pay for parking on the street. Oftentimes we would take weekend trips, so it wasn't too bad, but still it was about six euros an hour to park the car Monday through Saturday. Also with renting, I had to book it in advance and sometimes if it was a late or last minute booking, the price was a lot higher. So sometimes it was relatively inexpensive, about 150 euros for the weekend. And sometimes it was three, 400 euros for the weekend. So renting a car was good for a while, but what really got me was one time I picked up an Audi A3, I didn't properly inspect it, and it turns out it had some damage. I dropped off the car and about a week or two later, I got a damage bill from Sixth for 300 euros because they claimed that I curbed the wheel. Now, important lesson, anytime you rent a car, thoroughly inspect it, take a video of every inch, take a close video of every wheel. I learned the hard way and I got hit with a damage bill of 400 euros for a car I didn't even own for damage I didn't even cause. I tried to email them, tried to reason with them. They gave me a little bit of a break, but only like 100 euros or so, and I still ended up having to pay a few hundred euros for damage I didn't cause. And then I was really burned by renting a car all the time. I didn't want to take that risk. Every time I rented a car, could be accused of damage that I didn't cause. Car sharing is also a really good option in Amsterdam. There are several different services. Six Share is one that I used quite often, and it's a floating system where you pick up the car uh, anywhere in the city, drop it off anywhere in the city, as long as it's within a specific area. And it was really convenient for many times, but there were a few times where I did have to go looking for a car and you know walking or traveling a certain distance. A couple times I couldn't find the car. Six Share and many of the other fleets in Amsterdam operate an all electric fleet, and there are limitations with that. Car sharing is great for intercity trips or trips within the city. If you need to pick something up, if you need to move something really quickly, um, you know, you pay per minute or you can pay for the day. But again, with electric cars, there's a limitation. And I found a few times I had range anxiety when we wanted to take longer trips, especially during the COVID pandemic. We wanted to go out further distances away from Amsterdam. There were quite a few times I felt range anxiety with the cars in the six share fleet, which were all electric. Furthermore, with the COVID-19 pandemic, every time I would get into these share cars, you don't know who was in it before. 
Uh, I would have to sanitize everything, sanitize all of the different surfaces you touch. And that just became a little bit of a hassle that I just wasn't wanting to deal with anymore. Similar to the car rentals, you have to be really careful for damage with these share cars. They're parked all over the city. They can get damaged while they're parked. You have to really inspect them for damage. And I've heard stories of people being accused for damage that they didn't cause on these share cars. Um, you know, the car is parked on the street, a bike could hit it, a pedestrian could hit it, somebody could damage it. And if you pick that car up and you report damage, it's a good chance that the previous renter is going to get accused of that damage. So with the share cars, it is really convenient, but it is risky as well. So just like the car rentals, you can get accused for damage you didn't cause and you'll be charged for that. And then, you know, the costs start adding up if that does happen and it's just a risk you take. You certainly can get insurance packages both for the rental cars and for the share cars and they know that and I think that's why they, you know, either push you for the insurance or they try to pin damage on you and it's just a way for them to make money. So I just kind of got uneasy with the whole share car, hassle, the electric range anxiety, the potential for damage claims both for share cars and rental cars, the cost of parking when I would rent a car, and sometimes the cost of renting a car for the weekend. These are convenient options for people who infrequently drive in Amsterdam, but it was something that I just was kind of getting tired of. Ultimately, I miss driving as well. I didn't have to drive like I said, I wanted to drive and I could drive for leisure and I didn't want to have to deal with the hassle of car sharing or car rentals when I wanted to do that. And ultimately, that combined with the COVID-19 pandemic, which made car ownership a little bit more appealing, you know, it's your own space, you're not dealing with public transportation or air travel or car sharing where there's, you know, other users who've used the car before you. All of those things considered kind of pushed me over the edge and, and made me decide to own a car. Once I made that decision, I ultimately decided to private lease a BMW. And if you want me to do a video on that, let me know in the comments below. I'll go into that in a separate video. But ultimately, these factors pushed me over the edge and, and made me decide that I wanted to go through the hassle of owning a car. Even though I know economically it's probably not worth it, there's something about that convenience, that freedom, that control that I have over my own vehicle that um, I couldn't put a price on compared to the other risks that I described. It's been a real convenience for us, especially during lockdowns where there was nothing to do. We could just hop in the car, go somewhere new over the weekend and discover a new place in the Netherlands. And now with borders reopening, it's easy for us to take a driving trip to Belgium, France, Germany, even Spain like we went to recently. And yeah, you can do that if you rent a car, but the ability to just hop into my own car that I'm familiar with, comfortable with, don't have to worry about damage that somebody else causes, you know, that's a freedom and that's a peace of mind that uh, for me is 100% worth it. When I'm driving, I just have this relaxation and that's something that I missed. Even though I didn't need a car in Amsterdam, something that I missed, for me it's worth it. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll do another video about costs of car ownership in Amsterdam, but let me know if there's any questions you have or anything you'd like to see about owning a car in Amsterdam. So leave a comment below on your thoughts. Do you agree or disagree with me? Does it make sense? Am I crazy? Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.